guys uh, ready to dance? And I say dance, not dance. Let's uh, let's kind of smash into this. Now, I am absolutely wrecked. You jit, welcome, Alto. Mr. Merger, welcome, K. A. <laughs> let's see how much we can do. I'm gonna try and do. Um, so I just brush my teeth so that when I finish the stream, I'm just ready to go straight to bed because I am wrecked. Um, we're just going to try and smash this one out as quickly as possible. Um, take as many shortcuts as possible and just kind of like get in there. Right. Oh, uh, oh gee. Rotate X 90 degrees. There we go. Okay. So I'm just trying to think what would be the best way to approach this. Do we go a cylinder? So something like that. And then we... Bring it down. Control B. And then we can kind of like... Ugh. I guess you reckon? You reckon? <sighs> I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't really played with Icospheres before. Is there a front point? There is a front point. But it's not uniform. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, no. We're going to go with the... Cylinder. Alright, let's try it this way then. What the... Hello? There we go. Alright, so from here, O for proportional editing. And I'm going to stretch it out. Something like that. And we're going to bring it down. And then that gives us that feature there. From here, let's press V to rip, Control L, delete vertices. So there we go. First thing in AM. Oh, it's, it's 10 o'clock at night. So, yeah. Tukan, welcome. Gillis, hey. Sven? Hey. Whoops. Let's go now. Scale along the Y axis. So we've got that there. And then from here, we have a bit of a straight piece. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press F to make my life easy when extruding. It's going to kind of um, extrude along that normal. W, well, Mr. Allen, welcome. So we've kind of go like so. We've got that little bit here. So this is the bit that I'm looking at. And then from here, we can probably extrude, bring that up then extrude to something like that from here maybe we'll just add in some edge loops and like I've said I am just gonna try and just smash through this puppy so fun fact I start uni tomorrow I haven't been to school in over 20 years so this is a nose oh. <laughs> uh, so I am pretty chuffed at what is going to happen at you? I have no idea. So, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. All right. So from here, let's just quickly go into the asset library. And like I said, we're just going to try and dump this thing together. So let's go into the sci-fi engines, kit bashing set. And I kind of want, not this one, not this one. What's this one here? I just want to have a look. Rotate Z 90 degrees to the minus. Mm, not feeling that one. What about this one? That's that one. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's cook with this one. Rotate. And we're going to bring that one up like so. Let's bring it down. Oop, that's a little bit too much. How are we looking? So we kind of attach it like so. And then we can kind of build around it a little bit, but we've primarily got that bit here set up. And then we can kind of just start joining everything in. Why do you rip those vertices before deleting them? Why not just select them and delete? Because of the fact I grabbed the center point. So I just grabbed the center one. I know that's where I want to tear the back side off. That's why I press V and rip. Yes, I could select the next one. Creature of habit. Yeah, right. creature of habit. So I like how that is looking. Um, we will fudge some of these panels and I think I know how I'm gonna do that. Um, I have an idea, I have an idea. 
Let's go into the mirror modifier. I'm going to mirror off this one. So we have something like that. I reckon this here needs to be compressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this whole section. Oops. Press O, scale on the Y axis. Oh, fire. G, Y. Um, let's kind of just increase the scale of this. There we go. I think that's looking a little bit better. Now, obviously, we're just using this mid-journey art as like concept art. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same, which is fine by Marco. Um, how much we're going to see of this engine? I'm not sure. I do like the idea of maybe covering it here and then maybe cutting down. Ah, I don't like that bit there. Okay, let's, you know, let's get rid of that engine there and we'll try a different one. Ooh, what's this? I can't remember these. Okay, not that one. That one's too high poly. That one's not too bad. I think what we might do is let's build something custom first and then we'll fit the back end around it. So I'm just gonna move that to the side just for now. Shift S, Curse World Origin, make sure that's in the center. From here, I'm gonna go into a cube. Okay. So we're gonna go something like so. Nice and chunky. Beautiful. And let's kind of grab them. GY, so I'm just gonna block this out first. Let's select both of these. Something like that, that looks pretty good that's a nice shape in there so we're going to dump that one just in here we actually might do maybe a boolean cut through there just to make it nice one inspiring us well uh don't forget to give that extra bump to exact the line yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so we'll come down here yeah. it's going to go like that and we'll bump it out a bit like so. <laughs> and then we know we have this eye to do an inset. Um, and then obviously it's gonna go in, okay? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Are you gonna keep the symmetry? Yes. This one, will act, mm, this bit here is gonna be this side. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have it. <sighs> it's gonna be symmetrical, this one, compared to the last ship, which obviously was asymmetrical. Um, I actually did like the way that looked, how that turned out. So I was pretty chuffed. So from here, that's looking pretty good. I might just now just quickly butcher this. So let's go something like that. Control B. There we go. Um, do, do, do. Let's have a look. Let's put an edge loop through here and I'm going to scale that in. Let's go GG, bring that back, bring that back. Maybe we will scale this one out. Uh, oops, screencast keys, bear with me. I'm in the wrong version of Blender, give me a sec. We'll save that and let's jump over into this one. Oh, I was just wondering, asymmetric ships are hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm not gonna bother too much about that one. Uh, we, I just want to kind of like, let's just smash it. Let's, let's get smashed. <laughs> um, however, I will show you the other ship that we were working on earlier. From, I think, three weeks ago, maybe? Two weeks ago? I'll just show you where we're up to. Uh, small ship. Nope. Wrong version of Blender. File. Open recent. 43. Cool, 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 cool. What's that? Close. Make sure we have the right version. So this is what we were working on the live stream, yeah, a while back. Um, so I'm constantly working on this kind of like, just when, just need to clear the brain. This is where we're up to. So I'm working on doing all these sci-fi paneling. And then once those sci-fi panels are completed, then I'm kind of coming in and starting to add in all the finer pieces. Please give me a finer piece. I know I've put in something somewhere. Oh, Marco, what are you doing to yourself, mate? Eh? No. Oh my goodness. Anyway, 
So yeah, what I'm doing is then I'll be putting a whole bunch of assets all over the panels and kind of even break it up some more. There is a piece here. I swear I put a piece down here. Yeah, like this one here. So obviously that's a larger piece and then that's kind of what we're throwing around. All right, so if we come over here, I really like this section. This section's pretty much completed. And so for those of you who remember, this was going to be a um, kind of like a cargo dock thingamabob. So if we kind of go in solid mode and then we can animate, if you remember, we animated this. So yeah, that's still a work in freaking progress. For all this time, I finally, 6 a.m., welcome to the other east. Salutes with coffee, oh my goodness. Yeah, I am wrecked. I am wrecked. I'm so tired, but I wanted to stream, so here we stinkin' are. Okay, I'm happy with how that is looking. Uh, I'm just gonna flip it onto the other side. Nice. Cool. Now the, I do have an idea. I'm gonna, let's just do V to rip, control L, delete. Back face, delete faces, select that, control. Okay, sure. V to rip, control L, delete vertices. And now we can throw in that mirror modifier. Make sure we turn on clipping. So now what we can do is I can start selecting some of these edges. O for proportional editing, and then we're just gonna move it up. Just flatten that puppy out a little bit. Something like that. And we'll do the same. There we go. And the underbelly as well. I kind of want to flatten out. Why? What the hickabotham? Why are you doing that, mate? Oops. Oh. I just want to make sure everything lines up. There we go. And then from here, I just want to squash this section together. Uh, GZ, oops, O, scale Z. And then we're gonna have something like that. These engines now are a little bit too big, which is fine by me. We scale them, put them like so. Now, I haven't done it before, but I have an idea on how this works. Do you have a Discord server? I do. It's like in the bottom of the description somewhere. But I will find it. Right click, invite people. Mm, copy. There we go, we'll copy that. Over here, over here. Control V, enter. That there. I have an idea on how I'm going to kind of connect these pieces. So we're gonna model them as separate pieces, but then we're gonna um, join them together. So the idea is, let's just make this a little bit bigger. The idea is, I think they rip, yeah. Okay, this is the idea. Let's go into plane, okay? All right, we got this. Turn off that proportional editing. So now, technically, I can't do that because it needs to be, I can't shrink wrap onto two different objects. Dang it, so. Temporarily, I'm gonna join these two as a test. So we're live testing stuff. Very clever, Marco. From here, I'm going to shrimp, shrink wrap onto this target. I wanna project, so it goes straight down, negative. All right, so if we do three edge loops like this, let's kind of bring that across. Um, if I now come in and we line these edges up, G, oops, GY, GY, uh, let's just come in, I'm going to select that, put an edge loop through there, and we'll put an edge loop through here. Okay, so we know that lines up. Perfect. Now the next issue is maybe if I go 
GG. What's going to happen? I think I'm hoping that this line is the line we're after. So something like that. And it is not, is it? Nope. It's the next one over. Okay, that's fine. So let's go. GG, hold alt, and then we can overextend. GG, back, hold alt, and then overextend. And the whole point of coming to screencast uh, to this version of Blender is to turn on screencast keys. GG, go back, hold alt. GG, hold alt, and go back, or go back, whatever. GG, hold alt. So now that did not work. However, we can put a line probably through here. GG. 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 Uh, obviously, we can lift up the offset, but we will see how this is working. Okay. So that's fine because that's sitting dead on top. Now, obviously, if we come in and throw on a solidifier modifier, let's go to zero and build it up. Now you can see how we've created this panel that is sitting on top. Blah. Yeah, that Batman, that Batmobile looks pretty good. Uh, I think you did really well with that one. So now you can kind of see how we've built those panels to cover that space. Sick. Why is that there though? Um, let's just maybe I might just go delete vertices. There we go. Yeah, sweet. So you can see how we've kind of um, created that piece. And obviously we can come in later, start layering it up. It'll look good. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as is. And I'm just gonna continue just to work on these pods. So by the looks of it, it goes from here. Let's kind of go something like so. And there was a nice loud noise outside. A lovely jubblies. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking, what is the best way? I don't like the way that looks. Maybe we control numpad plus to increase the selection. Delete faces. I'm going to do the same here. Oops. Delete faces. Delete faces. Okay. Okay. G to the Y. I'm going to go something like that. Hey. Something like that. GG. GG. Yes, we have a triangle, but that's. Mm -hmm. Sammy, okay. GG. GG. Just kind of want to line these two up just so it's like a little bit more, less aggressive. Cool. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to go Control LP, separate by selection, and then that's going to stuff up. But we'll come back to that later. I'm just going to hide that for now because that's going to be a future marker problem. And then from here on this section, I'm just going to add in a solidify modifier. Let's give it some love of zero. Increase, increase, increase. We might even be able to get rid of this vertice in there. Yeah, nice. So now we've kind of got a really nice shell for that piece to come in. Um, from here, it looks like there is a door. So as always, look. What the heck is substance saved? That's weird. Let's go file. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This one. Uh, import character. So we're going to import our dummy character as we always do. Temp. Nope. Yes. CC4 testing. Main man. My main man. So. Can't you SMTNG and then subdivide panel mask because I don't know it is what <laughs> I have no idea. Um, let me okay. There is an option. This one. Where is it? 
Rebuild, hang on, Kevin. I don't think I've updated this one to the new thing. Oh, here we go. Rig fire. Uh, so yeah, this character here is from Character Creator 4. So I, for those of you who've been following me for ages, will know that I didn't do character creation. Um, that's what I use there. Okay. Let's go. Oh my goodness, what an ugly rig. Anyway, okay. So from here, let's just kind of broom. You know what? Let's bring everything up. There we go. And then this guy here can sit down. Sit down, mate. Sit down. Something like that, all right? Uh, I don't think all right. Let's go like so. So we're just going to give him a bit of a pose. We can see the size of this craft. Um, so with a, if, you, if the rig is set up correctly, I can go control C to copy the pose of the rig. Control shift V will paste on the opposite side of the rig. So there you go. That's just a fun fact. If you've ever wondered. Now, I don't want to see FKs. Yep, FKs can go. FKs on the feet can go. Arms can go. Tweaks on the legs. Torso tweaks, finger details. Face can go. Face, beautiful. All right, so that's roughly going to be the size of the ship, which I think is okay. I wonder, can we get two people in? about here is two people is he fully yep all right cool it is a two-seater person now if you buy an add-on is it permanently or you need to pay monthly it's permanent 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 as long as yeah it doesn't have a thing um yeah sorry there we go so we're making a two-seater um yeah most add-ons have lifetime i don't think i've got any add-ons that are subscription based except for there is one which I can't name it right now, but I, I'm not subscribed to it. I can't think. Okay, so we've got two seater thing. Um, I think for those of you who play, um, what's that game? Star Citizen. I reckon we're gonna have it. Jeez. We're gonna have it kind of go like so. Scale on the Z, something like so. Uh, let's kind of scale that in. GX. And then what that, the bottom bit is going to, um, we're going to have this bit open. And we'll probably do it like we did with the other doors. So it's almost kind of like a small transport ship. So I am starting to think maybe, whoops. We grab this. O for proportional editing, GZ. I'm just gonna bring that up like so. Yep, and then that'll give Will it though? Um, I am just gonna set a keyframe for this pose just so we can come to it. So selecting everything. Let's just press I and we'll go location, rotation, and scale. And then I'm just gonna get a frame 10. Alt R Alt G. Yeah, plenty oops. There is plenty of room for this character. So we'll flatten out the bottom here. Nice. So let's go ahead and flatten the bottom. Whoops, 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 whoops. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Uh, select everything. I'm just gonna press I again to set a keyframe. And so we've got our two spots, okay? So if we need reference, we've got reference. So back into object mode. I mean, we're still in the blocking phase, so that's okay. Let's go something like this. We're gonna maybe scale Z zero. Nope, let's maybe go on the rotation. Something like that and that, scale Z, scale Z zero. And that'll give us a nice flat base to work with. And then we can probably kind of um, create some landing gears or something off that one. But what we have here is a very small transport ship. That's what we're going for now. Um, with these engines, 
let's kind of dump these in. Which one's this? That looks not too shabby. Um, Alt R, rotate X 90. So that there is meant to be the front. What I'm thinking. Actually, no. Let's go rotate Y 180. Let's kind of just close that window up a little bit. And that fits kind of perfectly in there. GX. And so that's kind of like our housing. My goodness, that, that actually works really nice. <laughs> Let, what I might do, stretch it out a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. I think this piece here, let's grab all that. Hmm, hang on. Maybe we'll do this, shift S, cursor to selected, because I want to rotate specifically around that point. Now let's go control L. Um, click on this thing, 3D cursor, rotate Y. Rotate Y180. Mm, that's not what I wanted to go. Okay, that did not work. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby! So, the next best thing is let's put, select this edge loop in here. And we're gonna split it. Come on, you fat mole. Okay, yeah, let's. Let me just do that edge. V to rip. Oh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You suck. Hmm. You know what? Ah, stop it. Let's just keep it that way. No, but it needs to go the other way. Let's do it here. Shift S cursor to selected, V to rip, Control L, rotate Y 180. I hate you so much. Rotate Y 180. Nice. Select all, merge by distance. 147 vertices gone. Excellent. Did this vertice go? I'm just gonna check, connected only, G, excellent. All right, that is looking grouse. How many times you are going to, I will not get recognized at uni. <laughs> I am a mere pleb. Oh, fuck, what have I done? Yeah, yeah, no. I don't think anyone's gonna recognize me. That to me is looking lushmick. That is giving me some really nice results. Um, so if we kind of have a look as well, we can see that there is a door here. Don't care about that door, that's not what I'm after. I think that's looking fine right there. So if I go ahead and select that, mirror modify. Now I want to mirror, have the ship as the mirror. There we go, cool. So that's building that up pretty quick. I do want to push in this face here. O, G, Y, X, oops, O, G, X, because we want to have something like that, we'll do the same here, just a smidgen, something like so, yep, cool, happy with that, I do like that piece in there, this is, thank you, thank you, Biver, that piece there works really well, um, and when it comes to probably modeling the inside, which we probably won't do today because I can't be stuffed, it'll be um, probably part of the features, kind of like that's where maybe some pipes will come in underneath and the bottom here of the ship is where it's going to hold the batteries because i got a hybrid now, so why not? Why not? That's where the batteries can be. Now, I'm going to shift S. We're going to save this. Let's go file, save as. I'm just gonna do backup one. Oops, that's caps lock. Backup one. 
save as file open recent nope you donkey allow file um, open recent there we go yes open that one so from here I kind of want to cut this up it is not it doesn't have the exact shape so let's go back to the front there what I am thinking is that this, this, this. So all this here can be our, let's go there maybe. All that will be our, um, uh, you never know, it should be early night tonight. Yes, it will be. Jen, welcome. Love you, tutorial viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I try my best. Uh, we'll get there eventually. So I think that is looking nice. We're gonna grab, yeah, let's grab this section. I'm gonna press I to do an inset. And so that's going to be our, window. From here, I'm gonna press I to do an inset and I'm gonna bring it in, okay? So we've got either side, does, he, does this chap have full visibility? Mm, not really. Okay, let's fix that up. He is going to have to have this central bit. And it's just going to be one big get stuffed window. Mm -hmm. This bit here is a... Mm. Okay, you have all this. This is one window. Okay, so from here, I'm going to press I to do an inset. Like so. Um, just to make my life easier, I'm going to start creating some vertex groups and go front window. That's not a spell it, but sure, whatevs. Grab that. And then this section here as well. Now, the reason why I've done the vertex groups is so I don't have to keep going back and selecting them. Go like that. Maybe, maybe we do this. Let's deselect those ones. I. We have that. Let's go uh, window two, assign, and then I can come in and select that. I like this, delete faces, G to the X, oh jeez, O, G to the X, nice. And then we can go ahead and select them. Mr. Bad, welcome. Mehmet, welcome. Pock, aye, aye. <laughs> um, so with that one, this is gonna be window three. That is, Marco, the spelling is horrendous. Now, I think if I go select, select, and select, you can see how we've got our window selected. From here, we're gonna go into individual origins let's go e to extrude so it's going to pop in like so um, i'm going to grab that that whoop, that and that <sighs> what's the best way to do this mm, actually let's undo that for now i'm going to grab this this and this Shift D, P, separate by selection. I'm gonna grab this one little section. Mirror modifier, no, not mirror modifier, no, 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 solidifier. Let's go into a zero. Mm, it's not exactly what I was thinking, but you know what, let's just put a bevel on it maybe. There we go, that's making, that's made life a little bit easier. You can always come back and make that a little bit thicker. I'm not liking it because I don't think I've got enough geometry. I think that's my problem at the moment. I think that's my problem. So what I'm gonna do, let's go back into the backup. Don't save. File, uh, let's go save as into the blend, that one. What I'm going to do first is go into a subdivision surface, okay? To add in that all that extra data if I bring that on top, I think we're gonna to have problems there. Yep, so we'll bring it down. 
Control A, Control A, tab into edit mode through the center. Let's go V to select all that, Control L, suck a lemon, Control L, delete vertices. From here, we'll add in that mirror modifier again. And now we can kind of select where we want these windows. It's just gonna make it look a little bit neater. Let's go back into frame one. And let's go box select, something like that is looking fine for me. Ah, okay, question, question, question. How are you using Mid Journey for inspiration? Yes, I am. So this is from Mid Journey. And so this is what it's spat out. And so we're using that as concept art. Going back, I have questions, okay? So I am going to be making a parody of how ridiculous. Now, my question is, what is something that they should probably be dropping off the gravity center? What do you reckon? I've got ideas. Someone, <laughs> someone at church gave me an absolutely stunning idea. Uh, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow that idea just yet. Um, but I'm intrigued to hear what do you guys reckon? What do you reckon would be good? Let's go in here. What is something that, yeah, they can drop off the gravity center. Okay, where is he? Where's his head? There, perfect. I will take all ideas. Uh, just remember, obviously we're gonna try and go with um, physics simulations. That is the goal. Delete baby doll heads. I don't know what's up with that. Baby dolls. See this, oops, turn on clipping. This is the problem is that they've already done so much. Right, that one, that one, and that one. Shift D, P, separate by selection. Now I can go into Solidifier, zero. Yeah, that just looks so much better now. It looks a lot cleaner. Gummy bears, yeah. Well, the one idea that I'm gonna be doing is a one ton block of jelly. So when it goes, <laughs> is it better to make lots of small windows? Yeah, that's kind of like how I've designed it. So that it's, you know, if we're sitting here, you can still look to the sides, so on and so forth. Um, and I was thinking that we add in a window down here as well. I don't know what that's gonna look like. Let's have a look. Just so he's got visibility around his feet. Shift D, P, separate by selection. Let's just go Control S. That is super frustrating. Control J to join. So that now we've got that. Pour out a bucket of blood. <laughs> I can't do liquid liquid simulation, <laughs> fluid simulations in Omniverse yet. Yet. I'm working on it. How long have you been learning 3D? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I think we're up to like year nine, ten. The tip of that is looking at something that's not allowed to be shown in public. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're going to we're, we're gonna fix that. See, I like that. Semi like that one. Actually, no, there's a better version. Let me just jump over to Discord. Um, I was, was a fan of another one. Yeah, see, like this one here. I did like this one here, but it looks like a, um, like a bird. So, but that looks kind of cool. Anyway, so, yeah, let's, uh, we will, we'll go back. We'll go back. I'll work it out. Go back and chat. Oh, okay. So, from here, yeah, maybe with the nose. He knows. He knows. Something like this. Let's go. Hmm. What would be the best way for this? The best way for this would be 
I. Clipping your fat mole. No. E to extrude, scale. Medium point, scale, Y, zero. Something like that. G to the Y. Um, I am gonna do just kind of like a bit of a bevel here. Something like so. I do like the idea of kind of like having that claw thing looking. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in a UV sphere. Alt R Alt G. Let's rotate that puppy. Scale scale on the Y. Not too much. best bet for this maybe we grab this delete faces and then we're going to grab all this jazz delete fate delete faces and then that gives us that from here we're just going to try and close this up now what's the best way do I just go like so? Actually, what is the number of that? That is that. So what I want to do is I'm just going to grab this edge here. C. Deselect that. E to extrude. Y. Scale. Y. Zero. And then come up into local up the top here. Transformation. Control V. Now we know that that's all in line. And then from here, I think I might be able to just go F, 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 F. Ah, you suck. So let's go backwards. I'm going to select this edge loop and this edge loop. Control F, grid fill. Yeah, that worked. Nice. So now we've kind of got this beak thing happening. Um, is there a way of... Ooh, no, I should have made the lines go the other way. I hate you so much. Okay, undo all that. Let's go like this and like this. V to rip. Control L, delete vertices. I got this. Mirror modifier. Now I can select that. Make sure we're clipping enabled. E to extrude along the X axis. Noise. What is that? That is a rogue vertice. From here, I'm going to press M, merge by distance. Nice. 27 vertices removed. Now I can grab the tip, O, G, something like that. Uh, let's maybe compress it a little bit. So now it's kind of like a beak. Oops, something like that. I'm trying to do with something a little bit unique. Oh, I mean, come on, though. Angry Bird Transport. <laughs> yeah. Um, he just destroyed the... <laughs> I just read the message lost. That's pretty funny. A uh, chamfer would be... On the front would have looked better. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, really, that edge there and this edge here... So we'll do that all the way around. Control B. Ah, darn it, you suck. And then that's my going to be my downfall. So let's maybe go ahead, delete vertice. And we're just going to go to an F. Uh, GG. GG. Nope. Merge by distance. GG. Merge by distance. Nobody should be looking under there, so we're not going to be looking at bad geometry. Now, Control B. Oh, really? Can you not? And there, Control B. Yep. Right click, auto. Right click, auto smooth. Um, and then under here, we could probably just come in, 
throw some stuff under there. So maybe a small little sensor. Do I have a small sensor that would fit under there? It's like this one here I'm feeling. G, hold control, I haven't set that up. So if I want to have a piece and I want to snap it to other surfaces, I go to snap to, face project, we want the center. What else? Um, align rotation, rotate as well. So if I go G, hold control, there we go. And then here we can kind of come in and just add in a whole bunch of assets. And then that there will kind of fill up that space, look nice. So let's grab that into here. Oops. Hold G, scale, scale, point 0.1. G, there we go, something like so. There we go, and you can kind of see the idea that I'm going for, which is the way just to put a whole bunch of things into there, into that little gap. They don't have to be, you know, massive. But it's kind of like as if they're sensors, I reckon that. Rotate ZZ. 90. If, I think if any, oop, delete. If anything, that should go in the middle. Uh, on the X axis, I think we've got something like that. And then that'll kind of really hide that point in there. All right. Don't know if I missed it, but the beak's going to be a gun mount. Yeah, I was thinking that. In one of the other ones, it was a gun mount. Um, but let's kind of just throw in one more piece just in there. It's going to slot in. Not that one. What that one? Almost like. Oh, look at this one. G, hold control, snap, point one. Rotate ZZ, 90. Let's go into there like so. Nice. Uh, maybe we'll bring that out a little bit. ZZ. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Now, let's... Hmm, I kind of want to do... I kind of want to join everything up now, these two pieces, and just really start building up these panels. So, let's go control A, we'll apply that and that, control J to join. Now let's go back to what we did before and we're gonna slowly build up these panels. GZ, nice. And then from here, we can go ahead and start, oops, creating that panel system. Something like that. You can see how it's kind of contouring onto those surfaces. So we've done it well there. I do want to see if I can offset it ever so slightly. Yep, perfect. And then from here, we can start kind of like playing around and doing all those wonderful little pieces that I like doing. Um, let's go. Ooh. Let's go EY. I'm just going to line that up. And then I'm going to get this one, GG, whoops, O, GG, back, hold Alt, and then we'll snap it back the other way. And does that still look clean? That still looks clean. Cool. So we can work that out. Are you going to optimize this for a real-time engine? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, I'm not doing anything for what's-his-face's thing, his challenge. I ain't got time for that. I got too many projects. Um, cool. So that's looking good. Let's throw on that mirror modifier now. And then this is where we can go ahead and start building all these other panels around. I'm probably not going to try and spend too much time on it. I will get rid of this solidify modifier because we can dump that one back in a little bit later. Um, what I will do now though, I'm going to go E to extrude along the X axis. I don't have clipping turned on, so make sure we've got clipping turned on. G to the X. All right, so that's what we've got here. Let's maybe extend this out just a little bit more, E, Y, something like that right on the edge, lovely. So now we've got this plate that kind of covers that whole section. 
brilliant. From here, I'm just going to apply the shrink wrap. We're going to keep that. And this is where we can start coming in and chopping it up a little bit. So I might go through there and to there. Control B to do a bevel. Let's just go delete faces. Cool beans. I'm going to go edge loop through there and let's go GG. And we're just going to expose that little section there. Um, from here, how can we do this? Let's put an edge through there, edge through here, control B, GG. There we go. And so you can see that we're kind of like building up that whole section. I want to not have a line across the body there. Um, I am thinking we go something like this, control B, that edge, control B, GG, GG. Cool. And now when we go ahead and throw that solidify modifier on, make sure that is on the zero, increase the size. Nice. And you can kind of see how that paneling is coming across. Obviously the other thing we can do is do another shrink wrap modifier. So shift S curse world origin. I can come in over the top. Uh, let's go tab into edit mode, G to the Z. And then we can go scale. I can plop it here. Let's do another shrink wrap modifier. Shrink wrap modifier, there it is. Near a surface, no, I want to project negative onto the sci-fi panels. So now when I add that in that offset, it's actually sitting on top. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, see what, whoop. Now, I can't put an uh, edge loop through there because it's gonna stuff everything up. So let's kind of move it over because there's nothing under where that vertice is sitting. If um, that's why now I've moved it over and now it's actually sitting on top. So it's just a little thing that if you're doing, if you're working with um, shrink wrap, just be wary of that. You need to have a surface underneath or it's just not gonna work. So from here, I can go ahead, mirror modifier, throw in that solidify modifier, make it zero, make it a little bit thicker. And then you can kind of see how we're starting to build out uh, the whole kit and caboodle around that. So we can do the same here. We can start wrapping around the ship, so on and so forth. So if I go right click, auto smooth, nice auto smooth. Um, we could even, you know, let's do another one. So let's go shift D this time. I'm going to select that fly, face, invert my selection, delete faces. Let's come down to there, clipping. Something like this. But I don't want it to be sitting on the panel. I actually want it to be sitting on the other surface. So we're going to go, whoops, we're going to click on that and that. And that's fine, that's sitting a little bit higher. Cool. And then we'll just fudge it afterwards. And so what that will allow me to do, so for instance, I'm just going to shift D and duplicate that and just bring that back. Just so I've got it kind of as, as a reference for later on, um, I will delete that. So what I can do now is when I come in, apply, whoops, apply, apply, apply. I can grab this piece here, rotate. And then we've got this panel just sitting like that. And so now we're kind of building up those layers. When you finally finish family, I'll probably keep, I'll probably still keep them separate. Um, yeah, I'll probably still keep them separate. From here, now the other way we can do paneling is, save, is to shift D the main body. I am just gonna, yeah, let's get rid of everything we don't need. So where this is, I'm gonna go like so. I'm gonna grab this, this, and this, and also this section. I'm gonna go delete faces, and then I'm gonna select these pieces, control L, delete faces. So now all that's left is the body where all my paneling is gonna be. 
So from here, I'm going to go into a, um, oh, it's raining. From here, I'm going to add in a solidify modifier, zero, and it's just like ever so, ever so the slightest thickness. Um, the good thing is, is now that we have, uh, let's do control L H to hide on that one. From here, yep, that one's the one I want. From here, we can kind of just start going in and just start adding in our lines. Uh, so probably from, oop, I don't want that one. So I'm gonna do a line there, control B to do a bevel, delete face. Um, let's go from there to there, why not? So these first few lines are gonna be really big. Okay, so they're just gonna be big panel lines. But then we can come in, start refining, start putting in all those other little pieces. So from here, control B, delete faces. Find what you like, some courses do that. Oh, sorry, okay, let me go back. Um, <laughs> da -da -da -da. Who are we talking about? Improv, improv, yeah, yeah. how do you advance a blender? Yeah, so find, <sighs> okay, all right. It all depends, what do you wanna do? What do you wanna get out of blender is the big thing. To me, that was kind of like stepping stone I'm like, I want to make animated short films. Cool. However, I know my limitations. Character creation, and I've spoken about this many, many a times. No, no thank you. So that's obviously a road blocker. Now you got the choice to, you know, find free rigs and all that. I just bought Character Create 4, best stinking investment ever. Just gonna quickly jump over into that thing, that thing. Now, what am I talking about? Let's go into into that one. Whoa, cheese and whiskers. There we go. I'm just going to go into there. Close. I'm just going to open up a notepad. Control V. So that is what you want. I personally work eight to fifteen hours a day. So, mm, what am I? Well, at the moment, I'm usually about eight, about 11. So I've got my day job, and then I do this on the side, which, uh, you know, hopefully one day will become a little bit more profitable. Um, one day, one can dream. But yeah, uh, all these assets that I make, will end up on Patreon. So, you know, see that? That's a nice segue. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope to one day, yeah, become... Yeah, see? Obviously, for those of you who've been following me long enough, know that I'm trying to work on a web series. I think first I've got to build that audience a bit more. Um, so the idea around that is, is that's why I'm going to go back and maybe make some parodies, especially of Australian YouTubers. Um, so How Ridiculous is one of them. Uh, who else will there be? There will be... Um, I kind of want to do Isaac Butterfield. I'm gonna add a loop, add in a loop. GG. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go merge by distance. Uh, who else? I don't know. So yeah, just gonna kind of work on that. Ooh, yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. So that's not gonna work. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see how quickly we are just creating those sci-fi panels. But obviously what I'm gonna do is come over the top and add in extra panels that kind of sit on top. I think that's that's where that all that love's gonna come from, where it's just gonna look lushmick. And then it's you know just all about layers when doing panels. I feel that from where I was, uh, not necessarily at the start of the year, or well, actually I mean the start of last year to where I am now, I think my paneling has gotten better. What the heck? Ooh. Did I not? Oh, I didn't delete it. Delete vertices. There we go. 
So I mean, that's looking pretty grouse right there. Um, what, what I'm thinking, yeah, shut up. Let's jump over into my materials. Um, uh, that one there. So that one will go on that one. Select all or not there. Yeah, we're just gonna call this. My sci-fi, let's go copy material to selected and we'll jump that on everything. Let's go control S to save. Go into cycles, GPU, 32, 128. Let's just move that off to the side. Oof to the side. Oof to the side. Let's come into world. We're gonna add in sky material like so. Press that one into there, 45. Go suck a lemon into rendered view. Let's have a look what that's looking like. Not too shabby. Let's go tab into edit mode, select everything. U, uh, cubic projection, okay. Um, let's go fix up the material now. So back into object, that one. And then I think it's 0.01. Yep, nice. And so that's kind of given us that. That line is a little bit annoying, but that's obviously because of the mirror modifier. But you can kind of see how this is coming about. Let's select this here. Control L. Nope, don't do that, Marco. So from here, let's go ahead and select the materials that are gonna be the windshield. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And Oops. Deselect. No! No, 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 no. Oh, you donkey. Oh, actually, oh, that's okay. <laughs> I done it. Let's reselect everything. Three. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to do that. Oh, well. Select all that. And we're just going to select the edges like so. And then we're just going to do that. And then we're also going to select all this. Whoops. All that. What is the time? 11 o'clock. Far out. Okay, so from here, we're going to add in that new material. What I'm going to do is base color is just going to be a little bit darker. Full metallic. Specularity down. Roughness down. So now... Oh, hit a sign, Marco. Hit a sign. This would be glass sign, and then it's kind of just putting into perspective what it's actually going to be looking like. Obviously, then we will add in uh, a custom built one. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I got Ryzen 7, I got an A6000 graphics card in it. So, yeah, there you go, do with that. I just upgraded with 64 gig RAM. But these panels here look so much nicer. And so this is where we're gonna come around and keep adding in those panels and just keep adding to those details. Like the overlaying of the panels, like we can see it here, is looking pretty good. I do like how it's got um, inserts, maybe where we can put in some, you know, like air vents or something. That's quite nice. Let's go ahead and is that my paneling? Yep, cool. So I just wanna see what the main body looks like. The main body looks pretty good. This is just a shading issue. Once we apply that mirror modifier, it'll look good. Did I build it myself? No, I did not build this machine myself. And the reason behind that is, the reason behind that is, is I need a computer that works. So I, I can't have a machine that'll die on me. I need kind of like that safety net of having, you know, a warranty and all that jazz. So that is the only reason why I went out and purchased the uh, off the shelf. Not really, but what the heck? 
Is it on the inside or outside? I can't tell now. Uh, if I click on this, okay, it's there. Why? How does that work? Uh, Okie dokie. Let's now go Control B. Uh, so yeah, that's why I didn't build my own PC because I need something operational. And so that if it does break, I don't want to spend X amount of money trying to troubleshoot it. I just want to be able to just get a new one or get it resolved. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Let's put an edge loop through here. Control B, delete faces. That's not bad. I do like how that is looking. Now, obviously, yeah, we'll come in and start putting in um, other bits and pieces. Let's do Control B. Best spoke rack. I don't know what that is. What? What are we talking about? Um, from here, I'm just going to Shift D on that puppy. Let's go like so. Rotate 90. What the heck of them? Oh, that's why. Undo, undo. Turn off clipping. G, rotate 90. Uh, target will be this thing here. And then let's go something like so. And that'll be sitting on top. Lovely. Um, I think we might just grab this piece here. Shift D. Let's kind of go edge in there. Ooh, GG. Something like that. Um, and then, yeah, you can kind of see how we're building up. Mm, yeah, that's not bad. I'll buy that for a dollar. Um, let's go like so. Control B to do a bevel. And for those of you who've been coming to my streams for quite some time will know this is my little thing that I absolutely love doing. G to the Z. And now as well, you have to remember the way we're modeling is on a plane. Prisp oh, right. Okay. Uh, are there two engines on top of each other? No, there's just the one engine that I've got. Okay, GG. Uh, and then I'm going to go with that, GG. Nice. That's looking pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Shift D, Shift D to the X and let's go E to extrude along the Z axis. So we have something like that, E to extrude along the Z axis and that'll rotate around. Lovely, I'm gonna put an edge loop through there. Okay, GG. Noise, noise. I think that is looking pretty good. Let's grab this face here, Shift D, G, Z, rotate Y 90 degrees. Oops, actually, we can go probably rotate 45 degrees and we'll put that in there. And if I just put some edge loops in, there we go. Now it's curving that surface, E to extrude along the Y axis. Let's go like that, like that. Oops, GG. GG. Yes. Yeah, look at that. I really am a fan of that whole section there. Uh, I'm going to grab this. What's it wrapping to? Nothing. Lovely. Let's go ahead. Shift D to duplicate that one. Uh, make sure we've got clipping turned off. G. Let's go scale around here. So I got to look over my microphone. Nice. I will grab this section in here. Mirror modifier. E to extrude along the X axis. That'll bring it in like so. Let's grab all that. E to extrude along the Y axis. E to extrude along the Y axis. And GG. Are you going to unwrap it? I reckon I will probably. I will probably try and bake it. Um. But it might be possible I will use a trim sheet. I have been doing a bit of practice. So I'll show you the practice that I've been doing. Not that one. That's the giant one. So, sci-fi buildings. So I don't know if one inspiring artist is still around. 
So this is the pack that was just released on Patreon. Um, let's go into material mode. Random mode. So you can see kind of like, I didn't put too much effort into these main buildings. They look quite nice. But down here is kind of where I did a lot of the trim sheeting stuff. So I got a, I got the one texture and I add, sorry, I got four textures and put it onto the one texture material. And so you can see how I've kind of built uh, the texturing system based off that. I mean, it turned out quite nice. I do like these solar panels somewhere. Where's the solar panels? No, no, no. Where are my solar panels? They were great. Am I, I think I'm losing the plot. There are solar panels somewhere. I don't know what I've done. Alt H. Far out. I don't know. I think I'm just lost. Anyway, so there you go. So that's how I've done these trim sheet. That's how I've used the trim sheet to um, texture all this. It was a pretty lazy way. But it got the results I was after. I mean, I could have done added more, like, you know, that could have been a wood texture, but what else? It's good enough. Good enough! Uh, close. Don't save. All right, so let's kind of uh, continue on with this journey. Um, we can go E to extrude. Do, do, do. From here, I'm just going to go Shift D, E. Put an edge loop through there. Noise. Whoops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, let's grab that, GG. Bring that around. All right. So to me, I'm fairly happy with how that is looking. I think definitely once we start putting in some of those finer details, let's go control S to save. And if we come back into the kit bashing set, let's just kind of like just start dumping in a few things. Uh, select everything. I want to get, oh, I like that piece. This is one of my favorite pieces. Scale 0.01. G, scale 0.1. And then this is kind of like, yeah, where we can just start slapping these pieces together. Uh, let's, what else can we put on? And that'll kind of, yeah, just break up the ship, the... Not the monotony of the monotony, monotony, not the monotony, monotony of the ship, but it's just kind of like I don't know. It just gives it a little bit of extra oomph. Um, underneath, I do want to add in landing gears. I reckon that'll be probably the next bit. Let's get GZ. I'm just gonna push that right in. The problem at the moment is there's too many curves. Um, but what I'll do is eventually then I'll start joining all these pieces together. By the way, yes, yeah, sweet. Thanks. I'm, uh, yeah, trying, trying my best. I'm trying to work out what the hell, kind of stroke. Trying to work out what's the best way to present information that'll entertain and keep the people watching. So I'm struggling a little bit on that one, but we will get there in the end. Cool, that looks nice. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we're just kit bashing at the moment. I do feel like there should be something that kind of goes through there. I need to work on another set. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I think probably the next stream I will do will maybe, whoops, will maybe be Thursday. Well, sorry. Will be my Thursday. Far out. Alt R. Uh, which will be my Thursday, which will probably be some of you Thursday morning, some of you Wednesday night. Oh, I do like that. Oh, can we, can we, can we do something like this? And then when we mirror modify, it's too high at the moment. Let's bring it down. 
Yes. That'll look great once it's mirror modified. Um, I always feel like I could probably get all my paneling. Ooh, that's a good piece. Let's throw that one on there as well. We're almost, not really almost done. I'm full of lies. There's so much to do. Oh, yes. What a piece. GYY, ZZ. Bring that one in. Oops. GZZ. Ooh, too much in. I'm going to select these pieces now. Oops. That one. That one. That one. That one. Just for now, I'm going to go Control J to join. Let's make sure we put the right material on, which is this one. Ooh, I'm all sweaty. Darn computer. And I'm going to select that one. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. That is on point. Definitely, this glass here needs to have something. I'm just trying to think. Can we just quickly fix up the material? Um, but yeah, I'll probably on Wednesday or Thursday's stream. Oops, noise. Uh, on Thursday stream, we'll probably continue on with this. Let's go into roughness. It goes into there. Color ramp goes into there. Scale 50. Um, let's go control T. So I've got the mapping node. Not the location. I want to scale it along the Y. It's more like that. Oh, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this. I want big blotches. So something like this. Okay, so let's go five. Okay, we've got big blotches. With that, we go into mix RGB. That becomes our factor. From here, I can select these two, Shift D, like that, 50, mm, no, you become white, no, you become black, no, you become white, no, you become black, and then what that means it does is we're just applying the noise on the white areas on the yeah on the white areas from this texture up here so we we'll probably even go maybe like two whoops no let's go five and then we've got the option here i don't want it to be full smudge let's go into maybe like a bit of a gray and then that's kind of given that little bit of warning mcwarn warn 0.95 yeah Sick. So, uh, the top left quad looks like a solar panel. Oh, fuck, you found it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back into that. I just want to quickly check it out before I start losing the plot. Um, so, yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want access to a whole bunch of assets all my kit bashing sets everything is on patreon just gonna zoom you make zoom zoom in in the quad in the top left they look like here next to the billboard top left quad of the big billboard looks like solar panels top left quad i am why can i not see this numpad seven No, I don't know. I'm losing it. Ooh. You? No. Material view. Yeah, there should be some kind of like glass. So that there is like the glass house thing. Oh, fine. I don't know. 
Terry, I can't see it. I don't know where it is. Ah, stop it. Anyway, so let's keep, we'll call it a night. Um, we will continue on Thursday night. We'll probably continue on with this one. Um, if that one, and then if we finish up nice and early, we will work on the big medium frigate. So this thing. Uh, so let's just zoom out so you guys can see what we're talking about. Um, and this was something that we built on two, three nights ago. I'll be back Thursday. Good job, Edwin. Um, but yeah, so this is the bigger ship. So we can see this is what we made like two, three weeks ago. So this ship. Um, so yeah, there's, there's plenty of stuff coming up. Tutorials, what have we got? We've got Omniverse tutorials. We've got that, sci-fi engines, which I actually haven't made a video about the sci-fi engines. I haven't made a video about sci-fi buildings, instancing, audio to face, UV, oh, and I've got to do that. So now I've got kind of um, post-it notes all over my screen of all the projects. And I know that's going to get bigger as well. There's that one as well. Anyway. Keep up to date. I will post on how uni went. Go to my Instagram down below. Um, and if you want to follow that, I'm like 38 and I'm going to uni. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway, thank you very much, guys. And I will talk to you later. See you later. Bye. I've clicked end. There we go.